welcome to Boomer and Senior Travel. I'm Debbie Gerber. Today we're in a lovely fishing village, actually two. We're waking up this morning in Chaberna, Yucatan, Mexico. What a beautiful sight to wake up to. The ocean and the sand right out the front of your room. It is a beautiful view, coconut trees. What a wonderful way to wake up on vacation to this beautiful view. It's hard to leave this and go and do some sightseeing, but we are off today. Here's the backyard, the beautiful inn that we're staying. We're headed out to our little car, which we love because on these roads, you can see that they are sandy when it gets close to the ocean. The roads that go behind the beach houses are all sand. And so we drive along these, and it's okay because this is a little car, it's an older car, and it's okay to get it dusty and dirty, and it works really well for tight corners. Now we're off to Chalem. This little restaurant that we stopped to eat at is called the Restaurant Azul. Costa Azul. Yeah, Costa Azul. It is on the main little road that goes right through the town of Chalem. So it's before you get to the middle square of Chalem, but this is a fabulous little restaurant. It's one of the bigger ones as you go along the road. It's very well liked. There's a lot of people that stop here to eat. Here we are. We are in Chalem, Mexico. We have stopped at a little roadside restaurant to eat. We figure you can eat places that other people are eating as long as you're ordering food that has to be fresh cooked. So ordered drinks and they come like in the bottles or in the cans and they have the, the uh, straws in them to drink out of. And then they brought us some lovely appetizers and you can see these. This is a combination of fish and shrimp cooked, it's hot, served with chips and they, their uh, sour cream here is actually made they're like in the boxes, the ones that they sell in the United States, they have, have milk in them and they're preserved so you don't have to worry about whether they've been in the fridge or not. So that is the, uh, the, the appetizers that they serve with it. Now, when we got here, we just stopped by, we weren't even thinking that this restaurant, no one speaks English and it's all in Spanish. So luckily they had a few pictures where we could just point and say, I want this side or I want this side. And we were lucky about that because we didn't know what to order in Spanish because we don't speak Spanish. Sure, how it we did was it. just really fun. So, so we ordered and we said, we will have uno this and uno this. And then he pointed them out on the menu so that we could see how much they were. So that's one way to do it when you're in Mexico. Another way to do it if you're out of a country and you don't know the language, you go around and if you see somebody that has something that you want, you point to it and you ask the waiter, what do they have? And then you order it that way. That's another way you can do, just walk around the restaurant, peep in at people's food and see what they've ordered to see if it's what you want. But this is an adventure. If we went to an all uh, in, uh European American restaurant here, you wouldn't have this experience. You want to be safe, but you also want to have a good experience of having uh, a good time in the culture. So here we are to eat in Chile, Mexico. As you can see, what's topped here is there's a banana, and the banana has been fried. Here is shrimp and rice. Their shrimp is a little bit different than ours. It has more of a meaty appearance to it. This is cooked in butter. Really delightful food. We're having a really good time here. Galen ordered the little soft flour tacos that are filled with, uh, this is filled with chicken. It comes with a side of cream and a side of very, very hot sauce. We mean hot. Yeah, we mean hot. Here is a little um, meringue puff that we bought from the little vendor guy that walked table to table selling them. And we're going to try them and see how they are. We're going to try it now and see. It feels just like a little hard meringue. Absolutely. 
that's good. It's sugary and crispy and just melts in your mouth. I really like these. I can see why all the people were ordering them from him. They have kind of a creamy sauce inside of them. They're going to be crunchy with that cream inside of them. They are amazingly good. They crumble. Mm. And they crumble everywhere. I took a bite and they just went all over the place. But it's fun. We got another couple of things from him to try. This is filled with something. Crispy little shell. driving just out of Chilem, we are going to see where the salt flats are and also where there are uh, flamingos and the pelicans are. It's not exactly the right time of year to see a lot of them, but there are some here. My camera. Dang, where's my camera? There's the, I don't know if you can see them, but there are the flamingos. They're just walking along and eating. Clear out in the distance, there's a whole bunch, but I don't think we can get to them from here. And this is where the pelicans are to eat, as well as the flamingos are out in this area. There's the pelicans, and beyond them you can see the flamingos. There's a ton of them way out there, but you, you see them clear out there yeah. at the end, straight in front of me? But you'd have to have a boat or something to get out there. Yeah. We're going to have to go see if somebody takes you out there in a boat. There's a little fish in there. And they literally have fins that look like they're flying. And they have the brightest little colors when it turns. I don't know if I can get it or not, but I'm trying. I'm sure you can't see this, but in here are a million little, uh, and then they're fish, right? Not shrimp, they're fish, right? They're fish. I want to take just a minute and talk about the shoes that you wear. We uh, have done a lot of walking. You must have very comfortable shoes. Think of the weather, the type of surface you're going to be walking on. Make sure that they're shoes that you have worn a lot so they're broken in and you're familiar with, your feet feel good in, and make sure that you thoroughly have good shoes. You can see my shoes here are older, and but they're broken in and they're comfortable. Even if they're an older pair of shoes, I love them. Wear shoes that are comfortable. Thanks for joining me today.